the idea for this show is to kind of take um, inspiration from known either paintings or known people and then do our own take on them using our own style of, of uh, painting. Remastered as Matt and I often will go to museums together and um, see the art and sometimes we'll pick a piece of art and both paint from it, be inspired from it, and it's always interesting to us to see the different interpretations that we come up with. I don't know, I just kind of uh, grab my inspiration and you know from politics and my own life and you know using music as my as kind of my background and then using my my uh, physical disability as my as my guide I guess would be a good way to put it. My subject matter is, is political, I also comment on religion um, and like social issues so it's I think social realism is my is my best best term for me. I don't tend to try to be realistic in what I'm portraying so in that sense maybe more of a I'm more of a expressionist or um, abstract I don't know. I mean, my work is very fast and aggressive, I guess, and it's a little outsider looking. I think that outsider term applies to me more because of maybe my business model, my pricing, like that I try to keep my paintings very inexpensive. Um, I don't have any exclusive, exclusive arrangements with galleries. And seeing the business model that he was using that I really, I really agreed with and really kind of signed up for, which is keeping the prices as low as I can and making it affordable, making it accessible to everyone. The portrayal of me as this, you know, like independent, kind of punk rock inspired or, you know, kind of artist really doesn't fit with me charging. You know, if I charge 20000 for these birds, I, they're not worth $20,000, people. But, I mean, maybe, you know, when I'm dead, but I'll never know about it. Um, but right now, you know, they're worth about 700 or $600. And I think for the time I put into it, that to me is a fair, fair price. And so that is the idea, to get it in as many houses as possible. Um, and then people know and they see it, they talk about it. And that, that, mm -hmm. actually, that method has worked very well for me. So I just kind of played around with painting while I was working in the computer field. And I really enjoyed it, and I guess what happened after about eight years of playing around with painting, I had sold a, a, quite a few and built up a collector base, and I decided after one of the last dot-coms that I worked for, uh, you know, cut its employees, <laughs> that I was going to try to become a full-time painter. So I did, I did that in 2001. Um, so it's been about, what's that, 11 years now. I've been working full-time as a painter. The day came for me that it was a breaking point. There's not enough hours in the day to do my job well enough that they'd keep me and do the art and something had to give. Um, and at the point that I did quit, when I said you can't go part-time, I thought, you know, I'm also very employable if in three months or six months I decide this is way too scary or not working. So I'm like, you know what, I'll quit. And if I gave myself a time frame and a how much money I was willing to go in the hole or dip into savings for um, and I never had to dip into the savings anything enough to frighten myself so I was able to do it full time. Because this is what worked for me. Go into some kind of field that you're going to be able to make money at. Paint as a hobby while you're doing your, your, your you know, 9 to 5 job or whatever it is and then get a whole bunch of collectors while you're you know, working your hobby and then you turn your hobby into a full time job. Um, once you, you know, have enough of your name out there and you're able, especially when you're working in, a, in a, another field, you'll be able to afford to travel to all your shows. And, and just because your, your, you know, your um, 1040 tax form doesn't say you're an artist doesn't mean you're not an artist. Like you should constantly be doing short films and drawing and painting and all the experiences that you're having now, you're not going to have when you're my age. I'm very old. I'm Matt Ciso. That's who I am. <laughs>